Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Pageless Library. I am Bo Knight, and with me, as always, is Ryan Knight. And today we are looking at Junkyard Cats by Faith Hunter, which is an Audible original narrated by Christine Vam. I'm not sure. Is that H silent, man? Uh, I, I don't know. How else would you say it? Vam? That's, that's why I asked you. I, I don't know. I think it's just Vam. I, I mean, I wouldn't say fair. Havam. I, I, I didn't say that. I mean, I, right. <laughs> uh, I think it'll be fine. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, we'll do our plugs first, everybody, so somebody can finally email us once. So our email is kotpl.pod at gmail.com. You can also get at us on Twitter at the Pageless Library. On the YouTube page, which Ryan does a really good job on, is Knights of the Pageless Library. The Facebook page is also Knights of the Pageless Library. We also have a Reddit if you want to go to r slash kotpl. And if anybody is interested, we have a Discord page now, too, if anybody wanted to get on there and talk to us. But you have to actually get a hold of us, and we can let you in because it's a private club. So, yeah. That's right. You have to have a library card to get in. Oh, damn. I, that is... <laughs> Dang, did you just come up with that? I did. <laughs> Dude, that's good. Uh, as I said, okay. this is an Audible original, and it like came out last month. And... Yeah, this was part of the January originals. Yep. And so, yeah, it just came out. It's not very old. And this author, Faith Hunter, I mean... I can't remember listening to any of her other books, but she's kind of known for like writing about like these strong female leads, and they kind of like go on adventures and stuff like that. Right. She likes to do uh, like sci-fi fantasy and fiction novels. Yeah. This totally she wrote some of them. It looks like yeah. Apparently, she wrote in Monster Hunter Files. Um, I don't know which story she wrote in that, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> it pretty much. But yeah, that's what she's kind of known for. Um, and then, uh, so the narrator, what did we say? How do we decide? Christine. Oh, wow. She has an H in her first name, too. Yeah, but I'm going to guess that both H's are silent. Me too. <laughs> Christine Vam. Vom. If we're saying it wrong, please email us and let us know. Yeah, You'll be please, the first. Please email us. <laughs> um, what did you think? What did you think about? Christine's performance. I think she does it fine. I thought she did pretty good too. I mean, I, I wasn't like blown away, but I thought uh, I thought she did a good job for the character she was portraying. Since I was picturing this kind of more gritty scenario, I thought that she did a good job of kind of portraying that style of voice, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think she she does fine. Um. Would you say she makes or breaks this at all? I almost think she doesn't even play a factor. How about that? Uh, that uh, You know what? I understand exactly what you're saying. So, yeah, that, I would agree with that. Uh, so, um, yeah, like what would you even – this is like a like a dystopian future book and like yeah, a survival it's, thing. It's, yeah, and it's it's – I mean the basic – of it is it's like a sci-fi fantasy novel right right yeah um, i guess that's a good way to put it but yes it is in like a dystopian future where it's like a armageddon type thing has happened and everything's gone to shit and so i mean whatever you want to call that uh, this book's pretty short it's only about five hours yeah it's right at five hours which is yeah uh I'll get into it here in a minute about how I feel about that. Um, and, uh, you have to listen to it on Audible because it's all Audible original. Right. Um, well, we got this one for free from Audible original, and I don't see a price on it still. So I mean, oh, I I see seven ninety five. Okay, seven ninety five. Okay. That's about seven dollars and ninety cents too much. Uh, yeah. Or yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Uh, I yeah, I mean it's worth a little bit at least. But um, was this easy to follow? Hell no, no, absolutely not. It not e- even a little bit, in my opinion. Spoilers. This is, might be the hardest to follow book I've ever listened to, and I've listened to some that are so bad, like. Like I've tortured myself with some books that are that are really really bad, and this one is still like really really confusing to me. Uh, yeah, I agree. Um, uh, yeah, it's not easy to follow. It's not easy to listen to. I would say that the narrator, the narrator is about the only thing that I found interesting about this because she does an okay job. I mean, she did good for what she was given. I'll say. Yeah. But uh, like I said, like I don't, she doesn't play a factor in this. I think. No, I I agree. Like, yeah, her performance aside, this was. So, so let's just jump right into recommendations, and I'll just say this was one of the worst books I've ever listened to. Oh, hundred uh, percent agree. Uh, avoid at all costs. Yes. Yeah. Well, like... I mean, <clears throat> so I'll talk about this a little more after the spoilers, but. Um, yeah, this was this one was painful to listen to, almost from the fir- first sentence. I had yeah. to restart this. I had to restart this book three times, and I still don't really know what happened in it. Me neither. I mean, you just finished it recently. Yeah, I finished, I finished it, it a, today. I I finished it a while ago, and I I probably couldn't recall five events that happened. I don't because, even remember the main character's name. Uh, uh, Shining. That's her name? That's her name. Jeez. And I only know that because it's like the Shining book. That's the only reason I remember that. Uh, so yeah, uh, it's hot garbage. Don't waste your time with Junkyard Cats. No, absolutely. Do not waste your time. If, it, if you had to pay for this, absolutely do not pay for it. If you had to pay for this, I honestly feel sorry for you. Yeah, I, I, I agree. Oof. This one was painful, and I'm not normally like mean about stuff, but this was painful on every level to listen to. The yeah. story didn't make any sense. The story wasn't really that interesting. We, the, okay, can we go past the spoilers now? Yes, let's. Okay, so we're just gonna go past the spoilers. There, we gave everybody our recommendation. Avoid this book. Period. Do not. Yeah. Period. Don't just don't. Eat, we're gonna save you the time. Don't even go listen to it and then listen to our spoilers. Just listen to our spoilers. Yeah. And just we'll, listen to our spoilers and. <laughs> We'll fill yeah. you in. <laughs> so, I like the main issue I have with this book is there's just too much like techno jargon garbage that's just like made up stuff that doesn't mean anything. So, did you already read my other document that I made no, on this? No, I didn't. I try, I've been trying not to look at those. Oh, well, then that's good because you and I agree 100%. This is the, this is the notes I put down about an hour into this book that this book is sci-fi word salad. That's yeah, all it, it is. is. It literally is. She is just throwing out as many sci-fi sounding words into a sentence as possible. Even if those words together don't make sense realistically. No. Yeah. That's I, all it was to ugh. me. I mean, it was literally, and like, I am a fan of sci-fi. Don't get me, me wrong. Me too. But when you're throwing in like oh, the quantum reactors overheating the coolant, some, you know, it, it, the, the quantum cooling carburetor. It's like what? Right. What? Exactly. Exactly. That's and that's exactly it. They were words that, on their own, make sense. But when you put them together, they don't make sense together. They don't flow together at all. And that's what it was to me. It was it was sci-fi word salad from start to finish. And like I don't even really understand like what happened. Neither like, do I. I like we don't you don't get enough background on like why the world is the way it is. This seemed like there was like five different things that were all cataclysmic that happened that she like kind of mentions a little bit. And and then right. there's like she's like a weird robot thing with like nanobots inside of her and she's like able to alter other people but i i didn't really understand like i didn't really get it 
I was going to say, if that's a question, I don't have an answer for you because I didn't really get it either. Yeah, I know she was attacked by like some, were they ants? They're ants that have nanobots in them? Yeah, Is, I, but, but at the beginning she talks about like the ants are just genetically modified. But with nanobots, right? I, I guess. <laughs> I, I don't know either. I'm actually legitimately asking because I don't and, know. I, I didn't really understand how she's like always talking about that she's like she's like used to being alone, but she has this other guy there that's like a he's like a robot, I guess. He's like a, yeah, he's like a cyborg because he's like a a dude that I'm assuming they put in like a mech suit and he's like fused with this mech suit. That's the way I understood it. I I the, the way I understood it was like he, if he came out of the mech suit, he would die. Right, but he was dying. Right. When she put him in it, and that's like the only thing keep... Yeah, I... I don't know. I... All I know is we have this this gal who runs this junkyard, and she, like, does, like, black market weapons sell... Sell... Sales? Sells? Sales. Jesus. Sales. Um, and, like, in the beginning, she's, like, this car shows up, and, like, one of her buddies is dead in there, and he has those ants on him, and it was, like, a trap the whole time. And then, like, this other dude shows up, and she assumes he was in on it, but then it's, like, a double cross, because he wasn't in on it, but then these other people show up, and they were in on it. I Well, dude, like, the, that, like when that guy shows up, and they're, like, fighting, and it seemed like the fight was, like, building up, and then it was just over. It, it just ends. Yeah, and then they basically shook each other's hand. They were like, yeah, that was cool. But it, but they were like in the middle of fighting. I didn't really understand. I didn't either. And then it was like, oh yeah, now we're making fish soup. It's like what? What? I, I didn't get it at all. I really didn't. And I also I, didn't understand why when that dude showed up, the cats showed up. Right? The well, cats. Dude, were they like, don't even they don't even mention the cats until they are fighting. Bingo. Until that point. And yet she acts like they've been her best friends this whole time. What? And I was like. Don't you think that's something we should have talked about right off the bat? Like, introduced the cats and then and then went into the story? But no, she almost acted like when the cats first showed up in the room, like when that dude was in there and she, like, started noticing there's cats in there, like, she didn't know what was going on with yeah. the cats. Like, she, like, the cats came out of nowhere. But yet then we find out, oh, no, 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 the cats are, like, they are the junkyard cats you know roll credits type thing and they're like psychically bonded with her because of her nanobots they're in the cats as well that's the way i understand it I, but but she even mentions she's like anytime i've ever tried to freaking give anybody my nanobot powers i've killed them but it, it magically works on the cats and this guy that shows and up it, i was gonna say and then it works on that guy magically too yeah it's, i was super confused the, the thing is, like, I feel like she squandered a really cool concept because I like the idea of like these robots because they like fight that one robot and it like it like uses scrap from the yard to like make its own weapons and make its own armor and stuff like that. Like, that's really cool. Yeah, I so there were there was a handful of of premises in here I thought were pretty solid like that. Like she has nanobots and then like that one chick that attacks her has nanobots and she's controlling all those people at once. That's, that's a cool concept. Like you said, those, the robots who like use their environment to help construct themselves. That's a cool concept, but the way it was portrayed was pitiful. It was so bad. It's, it's, it is, it's a mess because also from the way I understood it, these cats are just normal cats. Yeah, I, I, and, I and they're, like, destroying robots. Right, which were – that's exactly what I was about to say is because those robots, she was saying in the beginning, were terrifying because they just – they destroy civilizations. But yet her, her cats are, like, fighting them no problem. I was like, um, excuse me? What? Yeah, I, I don't know. Oh, I man, do you remember that book? I can't, I can't even remember it. Like, I can't remember what it's called, but it's, like, about... It's kind of about, like, the same thing where this guy, like, goes to a facility and there's, like, swarms of nanobots that, like, fly around and... It, it, it like, this gave me that vibes, but it's, like, way worse than that. I don't remember that. Oh, yeah, you I, I actually listened to it. I can't remember way. what it's called. 
I don't know. This, though, was a huge disappointment. I specifically remember, too, I'm, like, sitting there in my car driving, and I have my hand, like, my my chin in my hand. That's how bored I am. And I was like, man, this has got to be getting close to over. And I clicked on my phone. I had only listened to an hour and a half. And I was like, wait a minute. This book is five hours of this? And it was. It was just five hours of the same sci-fi jargon nonsense and and it just ends like it's like the ending is kind of abrupt oh yeah very abrupt yeah yeah i I also i agree too because like it's almost like she built this giant world and then tried to smash it into this short story which sometimes is fine however she's trying too many things to like bring up like all this background stuff like World War Three and this right. faction and that faction and this guy was part of this and I was part of this. It's like none of those things none of those things mean anything to me because you haven't you haven't established any of those things. Therefore they mean nothing to me. It's just adding to the to literally the the jargon that she was just spewing through the whole book. <laughs> I, it, it felt like to me like there was a bunch of lore I was already supposed to know. Exactly. That's that's it. You hit the nail on the head. That's exactly it. Is I felt the same way. I was like, she's talking about these things as if I already know what they are. Right. But I, it, I don't. She's like introducing the concept. <laughs> right. It's like I don't. I, I just don't get it. Like I don't. Like there. Like this. This is a cool. Like the world that she builds. I think is cool, but it's just. It's done so poorly. I agree. It's just not good. No, I didn't. I didn't. I don't think there was a single thing about the actual story that I liked. I, I really don't. I mean, I mean, like I, like I said, I could cherry pick some concepts that I liked out of it, and they would be cool to build upon, you know. But I just, I didn't like the way that this was put together in any way. And oh yeah. my god, the acronyms! Oh, dude, so bad. If there's one thing I hate, and I came from the military, if there's one thing I hate, it's acronyms that are also bad. Like, what what were the engines called? WIMP? WIMP? That uh-huh. is... Don't even remember. I'm pretty sure that's what they were called, WIMPs. That is the... That is just awful. It's so stupid. It's all not good. <sighs> yeah, pretty much. And that's that's about all there is to say about that. I I mean I don't want to beat this dead horse. We've already been beating this horse for almost twenty yeah. minutes. That's no need to that's beat this nanobot horse anymore. That's nineteen minutes. That's more than we should have put into this worth of effort. <laughs> yeah, like th- this book was hard for me to get through. Oh, very hard. So it was. Hard. It was literally like I said. I restarted it even like three times because I was so confused from the get go, and then I powered through it. And came out the other side still being just as confused as I went in. Just like a giant question mark over your head. Like, what? Huh? Yeah. How? What? Yeah. Like, in the Sim- like in The Sims, if you put a guy in a room and you, like, delete the door and he's just, like, looking around, his AI is just so confused. He can't figure it out. That was me. The whole book. Yeah. Question mark over my head the whole time and no way to find an answer. Oh, yeah. It's... Yeah. I'm, I'm good talking yeah. about this. Let's end this one. I'm going to get mad if I keep talking about this book. <laughs> what are we doing next time, Ryan? Uh, what do we decide? Lord of the Flies, I believe, right? Yep. All right. You're getting really far away from your mic, just so you know. Okay. Is that better? Yeah, that's way better. Um, You're just getting really quiet. Yes, yeah, so I think we're going to do uh, Lord of the Flies next. So get that one downloaded and listen to. And... um. I guess until then, I hope to catch everybody in the next episode.